Hey, what's up, everybody? Here we go with the top stock picks of the week. I'm going to lay it out there very simply for you. We are just looking for continuation moves. We can only go off of what we see, and we have a total 180 in the market from last week. So we're looking at the daily chart time frame here for SPY. You know, obviously, you had a bunch of red days in a row on the way down, making lower lows on the daily. If I zoom out, it makes a lot more sense here for you. But then last week, we get what? Big, earning re big earnings reports, and we had the Fed interest rate decision. This caused the total 180 in the market. SPY, one, two, three, four, five, five green days in a row with two back-to-back -back gap up days. That being said, a lot of stocks followed suit and pressed up higher along with the overall market and market sentiment. So we can go off of what we see, which is an uptrend currently, and we will be looking for those higher highs. Now, I do want to caution you that since we do have five green days in a row and two back-to-back -back gap up days, it makes the most sense just from a from a logical standpoint that we will experience some sort of pullback prior to continuing higher and in fact i would welcome that because i don't want to see too much extension to where it feels uncomfortable to go long in the market so ideally what i would like to see on spy going into tomorrow early part of the week is a bit of a pullback first before continuing higher all right it doesn't have to happen just ideally, that's what I would like to see. So if we're looking for higher highs, SPY, we're going to look to take this long above $436. Otherwise, we'll look to take it short tomorrow into the gap below 433 looking for the gap fill down to about 431 possibly even lower. Uh, the bigger that a move is on the way up, usually the bigger the pullback will be. So I think that SPY definitely has potential to fill the gap down to 431 We may even see a drop a bit further than that on this uh, if it does decide to correct, right? So that's the first one on the watch list, uh, SPY, SPY. Number two, DKNG. This is a post earnings trade idea. You see the big candle here. Uh, broke the downtrend trend line on the daily. Earnings report popped up and continued, it gapped up and then continued to run to highs of about $34. We will be looking for the continuation on this tomorrow. Long idea on DKNG above 34. I'm not super interested in taking this one short. If I were, it would be way down here at $30, uh, but it's not trading anywhere near that price point right now. So the short idea is kind of uh, mute, right? The point doesn't matter there. What we are looking for are those higher highs. Long idea on DKNG for a continuation above three, four. Remember, you're gonna see this theme a lot uh, moving into the rest of the names that are on the watch list. Number two is Roku, R-O-K-U post earnings gap up and go, right? So what that means is earnings came out, the stock gapped up, and then two days of uh, big follow through moves, continuing higher, pressing higher highs. It would just be smart to stick with the trend. Long idea above 86 on Roku. Now, like I said, because things are feeling extended topside, maybe they do need to pull back in the event that Roku decides it wants to pull back. I'll look to take it short below $80. Otherwise, just looking for those higher highs, long idea above 8.6. Moving right along, very similar setup, PLTR. Next one on the watch list, almost an identical setup here, where you have the earnings gap up and then go. Two days of green, putting in higher highs on PLTR. I do think that this has potential to reach the uh, $20 whole number overhead. So PLTR, long idea above 19. I'm not super keen on taking this one short unless it drops bound down into this gap area. So we'll say short below 17 for a gap fill down, though it's not trading near that price point right now. So primarily will just be a long idea above 1.9. AMD, next one on the watch list, breaking the downtrend trend line, total reversal since the earnings report, right? Drop down to lows of 94, drop below 100. I thought it was going to continue down from here. And earnings said, nope, we're going to run this right back up. So AMD reclaimed the 200 EMA on the daily, reclaimed the 50 EMA on the daily, reclaimed the $100 whole number, and has since just been pressing higher, putting in higher highs. So just sticking with the trend, we would be wise to continue to look for higher highs. 
Long idea on AMD above $114. I will look to take this short if it cannot hold 108 as a point of support. So long above 114, short idea below 108. Microsoft MSFT, next one on the watch list. Uh, I pointed out this triangle pattern last week. We did get the break higher. We are seeing higher highs on this. It has reclaimed the $350 hold number. So much like everything else on the watch list, looking for higher highs. Long idea on Microsoft MSFT above 355. I'm not really take, looking to take this one short. If I were, it would be down here at 340. Next one on the watch list is Google, G-O-O-G-L. So finally, we're seeing a bit of a variation in a setup here with Google. Uh, it's not one of those names that has been really running. It dropped, gapped down from the earnings report, but has since held the 200 EMA on the daily as a point of support and started to recover. Uh, it did enter into the gap area created from the earnings report at the end of last week. So we're looking for this gap area to continue to fill or partially fill at least. Long idea on Google above 130 for the continuation gap fill top side. Meta, M-E-T-A, another one where we're getting a little bit of a variation in a setup. Um, you know, it's not something that has like gapped up and, and, and is giving this the, the continuation and the higher highs, but Meta did recover the drop down. So here's your earnings report. This is your drop. Meta has recovered that drop from the earnings gap down and it has reclaimed the 300 whole number on the daily time frame. So since this is recovering so nicely, I am bullish on Meta above $320. I will look to take it long. If it cannot hold above 300, I will look to take it short. Next one, and this is our final one on the watch list, it's Amazon. By the way, before I complete this analysis, if you haven't done so already, press that like button for me. It's the best way to support this type of work that I do. And if you're new to the channel, subscribe. I, I post some pretty good content every now and then, not to mention these top stock picks every week. So at least you'll get a notification when a new video is posted. Amazon, this one was on our, on our watch list all week last week. It performed really well for us, giving us the higher highs, higher highs, higher highs. It does feel a bit extended at this point, I will admit, but I am still going to look for those higher highs. Long idea above $140 on Amazon. If it cannot hold $136 as a point of support, I will look to take it short. I do really feel that Amazon probably needs to cool off some and pull back before continuing higher. So Amazon long above 140, short below 136. As always, thank you so much for your time. I hope that these stock picks do work out this week and uh, just remember to be logical. You know, we, we are only able to go off of what we can see. The market is telling us we've got bullish sentiment right now. We'll see if that continues, but logically, we know that it probably needs to pull back a little bit first before continuing higher. Otherwise, we'll feel a bit too extended. Take care. Enjoy the rest of your day. Thank you for your time and watching, and I hope that you make some money this week.